Today we're going to read Squirrel's New Year's Resolution by Pat Miller and illustrated by Kathy Ember. Squirrel pinned up her brand new Nut of the Month calendar. It's January 1st, the radio said. A great day to make a resolution. This is Squirrel's home. It looks cozy and clean. And can you tell what her favorite food is? That's right, nuts. She has acorns and walnuts everywhere. Even her calendar has an acorn on it. The radio said it's January 1st, which is the first day of the year. Make a resolution? Wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Bear might know. She went to see Bear at the Lone Wood Library. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is it like making a snack? Bear laughed. Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks, said Squirrel. What is a resolution? That's Squirrel's friend Bear. In the library, you're supposed to be quiet. There's even a sign above Bear's head on the wall to remind visitors. But since it's the new year, I guess it's okay just this once. Let's find out what a resolution is all about. A resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or to help others, Bear said. When we begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution? Asked Squirrel. I did, Bear answered. I resolved to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets well. On the table, Bear has a book open about New Year traditions. Making a resolution is one of those traditions. Most people want to begin their year in a positive way, and making a resolution to better yourself or to help others is a good way to do that. It also makes you feel good about yourself, too. Oh no, Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought, as she hurried to Skunk's house for a visit. She forgot all about making a resolution. Skunk was sick of being sick. I'm stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. That's too bad that Skunk is sick. You can tell that she hasn't been feeling well because she has medicine and tissues on her side table. She even has a book called Learn to Read on her bed. I bet she was looking forward to learning how to read with Bear, but it's very nice of Squirrel to go visit her. Maybe her visit will brighten up Skunk's day. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. She hid at the foot of the bed. She popped up and shouted, Boo! Skunk giggled. Hide and Skunk was her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again, Boo! And again, Boo! But now Skunk was laughing hard. Just then, Dr. Owl came by. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better, he said. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Oh wow, Dr. Owl just gave Skunk some great news. Maybe Skunk needed a bit of cheerfulness to help her feel better. After she gets a healthy lunch, then she can start learning how to read with Bear. Lunch, thought Squirrel. She headed toward the Heidi Hole Diner. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. What are you doing? asked Squirrel. Turtle and I resolved to plant a garden, said Mole. But I can't find a good place to dig with all these trees. Starting a garden is another good New Year's resolution. Planting vegetables, flowers, or apple trees is good for the planet and good for you too. But Mole and Turtle are right. Where they are now is not a very good place to start a garden. They need a big open space in order to dig and plant the seeds. Wait here, said Squirrel. She dashed up an oak tree and looked down. 
she spied Wildcat Creek and on its bank, a perfect place for a garden. Squirrel scampered down and led Mole and Turtle through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out string for the borders of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch, said Mole. Starting a garden by the water is very smart. This way you can water your plants quickly. And have you noticed how helpful Squirrel is? So far, she's helped everyone she's met. Lunch, thought Squirrel, and she rushed away. She still hadn't thought of a resolution. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. He looked grumpy. What's wrong? asked Squirrel. I resolved to be less grumpy, so I'm trying to laugh more. But I can't think of anything funny. Squirrel finally made it to the Heidi Hole Diner. I bet she's looking forward to something warm to eat on this cold day. But her friend Porcupine is upset. Do you think she can help him too? Let's find out. I can help you think of something funny. Like, why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? I don't know. Why? asked Porcupine. Because she was nuts, laughed Squirrel. Porcupine laughed too. I get it. That reminds me. What's striped and bouncy? Tell me, giggled Squirrel. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. Squirrel laughed herself right off the stool. Porcupine said, that's a good one. I'd better write these down. Off he went to find paper and pencil. Telling jokes is a good way to stop being grumpy. Plus, it's nice when other people can laugh and smile, too. Do you also have jokes you like to tell? Squirrel felt left out. Porcupine has a resolution. So do bear and skunk and mole and turtle, she thought. I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Oh no, now Squirrel is feeling sad. Do you think one of her friends will help her to feel better? Rabbit came to take Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special? Asked Rabbit. Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. Squirrel ate her lunch special and thought hard. The New Year special is cabbage stew. Mmm, that sounds yummy. But I hope Squirrel can think of a resolution. Can you think of one for her? Think about the things she's good at. Just then, Skunk came in. I need a healthy lunch. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Turtle and Mole came in next. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden? Said Mole. Squirrel found a terrific place for us, said Turtle. The Heidi Hole Diner must be where everyone comes for lunch. The stew looks good and they also have cakes and pies. All Squirrel's friends are there and they all have gotten started on working on the resolution. I bet Squirrel is feeling a little left out. Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why Bear said caw caw? Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said, he was learning a new language. All the animals laughed. I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. Porcupine has new jokes all the time now. That's another good thing about resolutions. You get to find out if you're really good at something. Sometimes you never know until you try it. Rabbit said to Squirrel, you're doing a good job on your resolution. I didn't know I had one, said Squirrel. Your actions are better than words. It looks like you resolve to help someone every day, said Rabbit. That's it, that's a great resolution, to help someone every day. 
In fact, Squirrel has helped five people today. She's on a roll. Sometimes when you can't think of a resolution, your friends can help point out the things you're good at because you don't always see those things yourself. Really? Asked Squirrel. I did it. I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel, shouted all the animals. Not only did Squirrel find her New Year's resolution, but all her friends are excited for her as well. It was going to be a very happy New Year. The end. Squirrel wrote down her resolution to help someone every day. But remember what Rabbit said, actions speak louder than words. You don't always have to write something down for it to be your resolution. So have you thought about what you would like your New Year's resolution to be? Are you a little bit like Squirrel and need some more time to figure out what you're good at and how you can help others? Helping others also helps yourself, and it's a lot of fun too. You can make a New Year's resolution to eat more vegetables, help your friends and family, or even learn a new skill, just like Skunk. Maybe you want to learn how to play a new sport or how to draw. If you're unsure, maybe you can ask your parents or your friends. I think my New Year's resolution is going to be to learn a new language. If you'd like to share your resolution, write it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this story and have a very happy new year. To read other books, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button or by clicking on the three kids and then click on subscribe. This way you can always find this channel and listen to more stories. Keep reading and until next time on Miss Sophie's Storytime.